you extend here, you will extend here. This isn't going to happen. This, in one, it won't happen on just one. It has to happen this way. So if you extend this one, that one's going to extend. If you cut this one short, that one's going to cut short as well. If you get a long arm out of the blocks, you're going to have a long straight leg in the blocks. If you start, you go here, you're going to be here. Don't have a choice. It's not like I fucked this up. I, when I started, I had no idea, and I don't care. You want to do a forward roll? If a forward roll got me there faster, that's what we do. I'm coming out backwards, turning, I don't care. Whatever is fastest is what, you know, that's because that's all I do. Like, like I said, this is the number. Everybody that does it this way is faster than everybody that does it the other way. But, Out of position. If I push, which way am I going to go? Backwards. If I land here and I push, which way am I going to go? Upwards. All bad. I've got to land here if I'm going to be productive. Can I, can I add to that? Because it's up that feed many times. Is that everybody's, and this is a number that people throw out there. I want to be seven steps at 10 meters. Everybody heard that or somebody's told you that before? I mean, that's a given number. Because that's what Walt was when he ran the record, or somebody else was when they did this. That seven steps to 10 meters is a result of doing this better. Not a result of getting longer per step. Does that make sense to you? Because your stride length, and Ralph can tell me if I'm wrong, is created by the amount of power you put into the ground on each step. Not by the distance you separate your feet to get a stride. Okay, so if you're in a more powerful position and you hit here, which is only going to be 10 inches in front of the start line if you do it perfect, ish, depending on the person. And there's some people that want you two or three feet. The problem is to get to that point, you're going to land straight up and down on that foot. And it's going to feel like you sat down when you started. Everybody felt that position? That happens because you land flat footed and now you got to wait before you can push. Because you can't push up or you'll fall down. So you have to wait. And you have to wait and then you have to push again. So the amount of power you're putting in the ground when you do that is way less because the amount of time you spend on the ground is way higher. Because power is what? That's powerful. That's strong. There's a speed component to power. Right? So does that... You can get your distance through 10 meters in a more powerful position, which is gonna set you up for what you do between 10 and 40, way better than what it sets you up to get to the 10 to begin with. And I can tell you when he hits his start right, he's gonna be about seven steps there because the dude's powerful as hell. So that, does that make sense?